and I am here with uh, Jen Hart and Joe Leto, who are representing an organization called Arts Reading. And I guess my first question would be, what is Arts Reading? <laughs> Good evening, Kevin and everyone. How are you doing tonight? I just want to mention that um, Arts Reading is a group of people uh, that have, we have formed together to form Arts Reading who are cultural in the town. Okay. All of the cultural uh, associations like uh, I'm also president of Reading Art Association, and right. Jennifer with Creative Arts. We've formed a, an umbrella group, let's say, okay. or a partnership of all of the different organizations in the city that have culture, which I feel or we feel is going to benefit the town by mm -hmm. uh, helping businesses in the community and the artists in the community. Sure. Um, I'd also like to uh, welcome uh, Jennifer Hart here, like you did, and as uh, Jennifer can assist with um, a lot of the um, uh, other questions that we may have that uh, better than I can actually. So. <laughs> so what are some of the other, besides Creative Arts and the Reading Art Association, what are some of the other organizations that are involved um, with well, Arts Reading? Our CTV, Phil's come to many of the, okay. the meetings, um, and a lot of the other groups that are here tonight with sure. Organization Night from Colonial Chorus to Kids Sing mm -hmm. to the Reading Civic Concert Band, okay. the RSO. Um, who else do we have here tonight? Community oh. Singers. Community, Community Singers, yeah, yep, right. thank you. The Garden Club, the okay. Reading Cultural Council, um, even the town of Reading is involved. Okay. Um, Matt, who's the town administrator, mm -hmm. has been coming. Yes, yeah. has yeah. been coming to our meetings, and he's a, a huge arts supporter. Okay. Um, I actually, we both live in Methuen and sure. support arts in both communities. Sure. Um, he's also a poet. For those of you who don't know, there we go. <laughs> he's a poet. So yes. you know, you've brought all these groups together into kind of, as you said, one umbrella organization. What is the benefit of having an umbrella organization? Well, we're really trying to um, organize ourselves and have a greater impact in the community. Mm -hmm. And it was really started when um, the town was looking at if they should form a cultural district okay. and um, and looking at all the groups that are in town. So it started with that project. And, you know, all of us arts organizations have tried to get together many times mm -hmm. in the past years. And now that we have a little bit of town support as well, just as that little backbone, um, it's really been nice. And we're really sure. trying to gear up to um, having more of a presence and doing a little bit more um, than just what we normally do, but having okay. an organized presence. In the right. setting of a cultural district in the city, in the town, excuse me, uh, it helps. It helps the community in a lot of ways. There are other towns and cities like I think Marblehead and, and Beverly and mm -hmm. Orleans who have mm -hmm. set up the same type thing in their cities, and it helps not only the community, but it helps the businesses, and it helps naturally the art organization. Sure, sure. sure. So, so have you found that even you're able to do things like coordinate calendars and that kind of thing, so we don't have all the events happening on one day or that kind of thing? That we're trying to do. That's <laughs> a very difficult task. Sure. Um, but one thing we're trying to do um, as we form website and kind of get mm -hmm. um, us all together to figure that piece out. And we're even trying to even connect with um, the businesses too, the oh, chambers okay. even involved, sure. so that we can um, work with the, um, the town groups and create a few new events, community mm -hmm. type events, sure. um, but also make us all aware and hopefully right. not have all that duplication. So on. do you have events that you're planning and coming up with now currently? Saturday. Yes, Saturday we are working with the Garden Club. They do mm -hmm. their um, annual sale on sale the Common. On the common yep. So um, the Arts Reading Group is going to be there. We'll have a booth with information. Okay. And then a lot of the individual groups will be there too. Creative Arts is having a booth and the mm -hmm. Art Association has artists. But okay. um, Yep, we also do the town fair, and we're talking about maybe doing Friends and Family Day. I Friends think and family um, day, yeah. Joe submitted the application for that. So we're trying to get out there a little bit more. Sure, and we sure. want more people to be involved, not only from organizations, but individuals. Right. So whether you're an individual artist you know, sure. in town or a musician or anything like that, if you're concerned about the culture in Reading um, or just a concerned citizen and want to sure. become more involved, um, come help us out. So what have you seen as, as being a director or a president of different um, arts organizations in town? What have you seen as the benefit of this, of Arts Reading has been for you and for your organization? Um, arts Reading is something that, oh, thank you. Um, arts Reading is something that you need a, like what we're doing is setting up a board or whatever mm -hmm. with Arts Reading, where we have like 
not a command center, but at least a central point of coordination mm -hmm. and planning for our future needs. Like we were just talking about getting our stuff on our website so the town sure. can see it, and also putting our information out in magazines and newspapers and stuff so everybody knows, or if you want to go on the website and find out okay. about certain things, they can see all of the calendars for all of our associations that mm -hmm. we're there. We have about, what, 15 or 20 different associations or groups in yeah, our, that. So, I mean, there's a, there's a significant amount of people that really want to get into this and okay. help out too so. so so if i was part of an organization that uh, was interested in this how how would i do that how who would i get a hold of how would i do that you come to rctv on the night that we're <laughs> making our meetings okay. um no the, um you can go i think on facebook we have the um and explain how that works I'm yeah um probably the best um way right now is to email either joe or myself you can mm -hmm. email jennifer at we teach creative arts okay. um or you can get a hold of joe through the reading art association as right. well you can call creative arts if you need to we are um typically right now meeting on the third thursday of each month, of each month yeah. um it's what we're doing and we meet at town hall at about seven o'clock okay. um so that's when our meetings are but any involvement is great come down to um saturday to the right. garden sale and, to see the us there. and see all the different Sign organizations yeah. all right any other information you want to share with people out there at this point um, I don't know. It's a great, you know, we're really trying to form ourselves back up again, sure. and um, it's a lot about education and yep. also reaching back out into the community to find out mm -hmm. who is supporting of the culture in right. Reading so that we can figure out what our next steps are. What do other people want? We want a calendar, and, sure. you know, I'm sure some community members do, but what other things are needed? You right. know, we have dreams of, you know, big things sure. of a cultural campus. If but anybody has any questions or any ideas about uh, what they might think, please, uh, Stop and uh, give us a call. Like I said, my information is on, uh, excuse me, Reading Art or readingarts.org, readingartassociation.org. Okay. Uh, I had to remember that one. And, uh, or give us a call at uh, off Facebook, uh, at, uh, leave messages with us. Thank you. Okay, okay. Well, well, that's, that's terrific. terrific. And uh, I guess if you want to get in on the ground floor with the cultural scene here in Reading and what's going on with the different groups, Arts Reading is the way to do it. So thank you for being here and sharing a little bit about uh, what that's all about. Thank you. All right. <laughs>